Newly formed studio Santo Games has recently released Firewatch for the PlayStation 4 and PC. It is yet another entry in the so-called walking simulator genre, joining the likes of Gone Home and Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. The game takes place over the course of a summer in an expansive national park in Wyoming. You play as Henry, a man going through intense and emotional personal struggles. There's a 10 minute prologue that sets up the narrative in a very powerful way. He takes a job as a park ranger of sorts in the wilderness of Wyoming in an effort to get away from it all. The core of the game's story revolves around his relationship with his boss, Delilah. The two communicate by walkie-talkie. Their conversations are highly engaging, entertaining, and well acted. The player has control on how open and honest Henry is with Delilah, and their relationship will evolve organically based upon the dialogue options. I imagine most will find her very easy to talk to and report nearly everything they see in an effort to get the most out of the excellent banter. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. The plot will be divisive for some. It begins as many other story-driven games do. An event foreshadows doom and gloom for the main characters, and a mystery and possible conspiracy begin to unfold. However, Firewatch boldly does not offer a typical Hollywood or video game ending that may leave some players feeling ripped off. I appreciated the opaqueness and that much is left up to the imagination of the player. The writing is mature and realistic, and the game progresses like an addictive novella. I was left wanting more initially, but upon reflection have decided that it said what it needed to say. I would have welcomed more though. The gameplay of Firewatch mostly consists of walking from point A to point B and investigating things that Delilah tells you to. One of the notable mechanics is the lack of a traditional video game map. You're forced to use a very realistic map and compass. Turning off the gamey you are here feature adds another layer of immersion. There were times where I was bored, but after a few minutes something usually pulled me back, whether it was a humorous conversation or fitting musical cue. Visually, the game is gorgeous. Many sections take place at different times of day, from foggy chilly mornings to a blood orange stained sky dusk. Despite the game's short four to six hour length, this park in Wyoming begins to feel homey by its end. Unfortunately, the PS4 version of the game runs rather poorly. It frequently chugs along to a point that certainly breaks immersion. If possible, I recommend you play the game on PC. Firewatch is a bold game in that it takes what is conventional in narrative-driven video games and goes minimalist. Despite its flaws, it is definitely worth a playthrough. Few games have told a small story so succinctly and powerfully.